The Lord be with you. The neighbors cut down a large tree that had branches that hung over the, the property line. Their, their neighbor, Mary Lou, was upset because you see that tree provided a, a lot of shade for her garden. Now her shaded garden was out in the full sun. When one of her favorite hostas died, she almost cried. Her husband knew that he could have said, chin up, just say hasta la vista, baby, but decided it was better he say nothing. He thought he was too young and too handsome to die. Sometimes it's hard to know what to say, isn't it? To come up with just the right words. Sometimes it is a real sign of wisdom not to say anything at all. The scriptures tell us that the truth will set us free. Those same scriptures caution us to speak the truth with love and to treat each other as gently as possible. And that's a very fine line to speak the truth clearly enough that it is understood but spoken gently enough that any hurt in the truth is as minimal as possible. Sissy asked me one day, what are the three things you like most about me? What a great question. What an opportunity to tell her what I appreciate most about her. I answered her question and I was feeling pretty good about my answers. It was a good moment. I should have seen it coming. Because Sissy then asked, What are the three things you would change about me if you could? Now, to be fair, I recognized the importance of the question. It was all about our relationship and how it could be made better. I knew that. My, but why couldn't she have asked me a simpler question, an easier question, like, do these pants make me look fat? Again, I answered her question, but this time I did it very cautiously, choosing every single word with extreme care. I did not want to hurt someone I love. But I also knew it would show my respect for her if I answered her question truthfully. It was not an easy conversation, but it was an important one for us to have. If I was not truthful with you outside of the sanctuary, could you trust me in the pulpit? If you simply didn't mention a purchase you had made to your spouse. Is that really no big deal? I didn't lie. I just didn't tell him or her the whole truth. Really? How do you feel when you are talking to someone and they say, to tell you the truth, I... Wait a minute. Have you been lying to me up to this point in our conversation? Are you just now telling me the truth? Are you the kind of person who has to tell me when you are telling the truth and when you are not? I know it is only an expression, but if our lips are moving and words are coming out of our mouths, they should bear witness always to the truth. I have met with several couples through the years that have spoken the truth to each other loudly and forcefully, attacking each other and not the problems in the relationship. No truth spoken in love, just truth, or at least their version of it. No gentleness at all. Those couples always remind me that truth alone is never enough. Love and gentleness are also required. A boy ran into his house to tell his mom something. 
he had a dead rat in his hand. He did not notice that the pastor of the church was talking to his mom. The boy said with obvious excitement, Mom, Mom, you'll never guess what I did. I was out behind the garage and there was this rat. I picked up a rock and threw it and I hit the rat. It just laid there, so I went over and I kicked it. It didn't move. Then I jumped up and down on it. Then I picked it up and threw it against the garage wall as hard as I could. Then I picked it up and threw it again. Just then, the boy saw the pastor. He was embarrassed, so he held the rat up by his, the tail and said, Oh, look, pastor, the dear Lord just called him home. Sort of true, I guess. It was a, a line made very famous by a movie. The truth? You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Christian, with the Spirit's help, we can handle the truth. In our hands, truth can be a great blessing and a powerful gift of love. Just handle with care. Amen.